G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be going through my Euro 2024 predictions. Uh, this is not coming from an expert, this is coming from a fan. Don't take wherever I put your country subjectively, I am here to predict who I think will win the Euros um, through the groups, the knockouts and then the final. Uh, I'm going to try to go for a few upsets, I don't want to make this too generic but I want to keep it as realistic as I can and what I think will happen. Um... So yeah, let's get straight into this. Here are the groups. Group A, we've got Germany, Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland. Um, I think this is pretty unanimous across everyone doing these predictions, but I'm going to go with Germany in first. Home Euros, they should just be too strong. They're stronger than all three of these other nations. Um, I've got the Swiss coming in second. I think it's going to be pretty close between second and third. I'm going to go Switzerland, and then I am going to go... Oh, I'm going to... Is McTominay injured still? Because McTominay is a massive part of Scotland's success. Just his knack to score goals. I, I think I'm going to lock in those top two. But then Scotland and Hungary is pretty close. I'm ugh, Hungary have some real good talent. I've got some real good talent. But I'm just going to squeeze the Scottish into third. I think they've got an overall better squad. And I'm going to put Hungary in fourth. But those third and fourth slots could go either way. Group B, we've got Spain, Croatia, Italy and Albania. First, oh my god, this is the group of death if I've ever seen it. Um, we can drag Albania to fourth. Uh, can we, do, we don't want Albania there. Let's drag Albania to fourth. Spain, Croatia, Italy. I really, really like Croatia this tournament. I think I like Croatia and Spain a bit more than Italy here. I'm going to go with Croatia to top the group. I'm going to go with Spain second. I'm going to go with Italy third. I know I'm wearing an England shirt, but it's not bitterness from the Euro 2020 final. Um, I just purely think that if we're going off pure squad quality, I think Croatia is so well-rounded. Um, Lavakovic came off, coming off an amazing uh, World Cup, that being his last major tournament. Um, yeah, I, I think Croatia are looking so, so good. Uh, Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, England, Group C. I'm going to, I think unanimously, I think England should top the group. And it might not be pretty, but I think England should top the group. Second, we're going to go with Serbia. Third, third, I'm just going to go Denmark and fourth, Slovenia. Very, very close. I could definitely see Denmark bottoming that group. I think England and Serbia will be the top two who go through. But I see Slovenia and Denmark being pretty interchangeable. Uh, let's go to Group D now. Netherlands, Austria, France, and Poland. I'm going to back the French in. They're just too quality. You'd probably say they're the favourites going into this Euros. Um, Netherlands in second seems pretty safe to me, and I think I will go with the Dutch. I think Austria are missing David Alaba through injury, which is a massive loss, but I still think they've got... A bit more quality than the Polish. You've got an aging Lewandowski up top. I'm going to go Austria in third. I'm going to go Poland fourth. Uh, also, I think that Netherlands and Austria thing is really, really close. Uh, that could go either way. I really rate Austria. Um, they could be one of my dark horses. Group E, Belgium, Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine. Oh, Belgium disappointed in every single major tournament, but I'm still going to back in the Belgians to top the group. I quite like Ukraine, if I'm being honest. I like Slovakia a lot too. I'm going to drag, I drag Romania to the bottom. I'm going to drag Romania to the bottom. And it's between Slovakia and Ukraine here. And I'm going to go for Ukraine. I think Ukraine would just go through with Belgium. They've got some of the most quality they've had in years going into a major tournament in all lines. Um, I think they're looking really good. They've got Lunin, Mudrik, um... Mika Mikalenko, they've just got so many names that can really put together a good squad, and they're all so young. Um, this Ukraine team could be a dark horse for years to come in major tournaments. Group F, Turkey, Georgia, Portugal, Czech, a pretty weak group. Portugal go top, and then I think Turkey go second, and the Czech Republic go third, with Georgia bowing out. Let's go to the third place ranking, because who knows, one of these, or four of these third place teams will go through. So if we take a look at the group and the strength of the groups, I think Scotland, we're in Denmark. I think Denmark as well, I, and Austria. 
I, I think I'm going to go Scotland's like a pretty weak group. I'm going to go Scotland. Then I'm going to go Austria. Then I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to go Austria third. And I'm going to go Denmark second. Uh, Denmark. And then it's between Italy, Slovakia, and Czech for the last spot. Um, Italy in their group have Spain and Croatia, which could be really tough. As long as they can get the three points against Albania and maybe pinch a point against Spain and Croatia, Italy should be good enough. Slovakia, though, that's a really weak group. Czech, I think, won't do a lot of damage. I think Portugal and Turkey will clean up there. They might be able to get three points against Georgia. I'm actually going to go with Slovakia, then Italy, then Czech. I don't have... Um, please, Telegraph. Are you taking the piss, Telegraph? Are, are you taking the piss? Can you... Can you play, Can I refresh this? <laughs> the Telegraph try and make me buy their thing. Oh, no. All right, I guess that big yellow block's going to be on there for the rest of the video. Shout out to the Telegraph for that. Um... So yeah, I've got Scotland, Denmark, Austria, Slovakia, and Italy go out with Czech there. Um, I just don't have a lot of faith in Italy in that group of death. I mean, it's just going to be so tough for them. Um, but I could still see them going through. Let's now move on to the round of 16. And we have got Germany versus Serbia in Germany. I, I like Serbia as a dark horse shout, but I think I'm going to go with the Germans there. Um, it's not letting me pick my winner. Which is really frustrating. Um, I think my website's just frozen. Give me two seconds here. Give me two seconds. Um, and I will be back. Right, I've just sorted out the issue. Here we go. Round of 16. I've already gone with Germany. Switzerland v Spain. <sighs> I'm going to go for an upset. I rate the Swiss. And I think Switzerland are going to upset the Spanish. In the round of 16, you never go a Euros without some upsets. And I think Switzerland will advance to the quarterfinals. Croatia v Slovakia. I rate Croatia so highly. Um, a massive chance of winning this tournament. And I think they will beat Slovakia in the round of 16 to take on Germany in a blockbuster quarterfinal contest. England v Austria. I think Austria have some firepower that could trouble England, but I think with the quality of players, even if they play some boring, dire football, I think the English should advance to a quarterfinal matchup against Switzerland. A very kind draw. Portugal v Scotland. McTominay v Ronaldo. Um, I think the Portuguese win this. Far too much quality. Um, they've really strengthened up their uh, defensive line heading into this tournament, and I think overall... Um, I tend to disappoint at a few of these major tournaments in recent years. Obviously, won Euro 2016, but the World Cup 2018, um, a little bit disappointing. Uh, Euro 2020 and obviously World Cup 2022, disappointing as of late from Portugal, particularly that latest World Cup, but I think they advanced to the quarterfinals. Netherlands v Ukraine. Again, I'm going the upset. I believe Ukraine knock out the Netherlands. I'm a big fan of Ukraine going into this tournament. Really love what they bring. They bring a bit of firepower, a bit of spark, and um, so not the greatest terminology I've just used there. That wasn't intentional. Um, but yeah, I think they do advance into the quarterfinals. Belgium v Denmark. Um, I mean, just two teams that I expect to disappoint this tournament. Um, it sucks they have to face each other and one of them will end up at a quarter final against France because they will beat Turkey. Um, Belgium or Denmark, God, I'm going to go with Belgium. Uh, I don't love Denmark going into this tournament, to be honest. I think a few of their players are getting a little bit older and they're sort of getting into that transition phase. Quarterfinals, Germany v Croatia. In Germany. What a knockoff this would be if Croatia managed to win. Obviously made the semi-finals of last Euros. Sorry, of last World Cup. Um, I really rate them. But it's in Germany. Can you deny a German team which is possessing a midfield of Wurz, Kimmich and Gundogan? You've got guys like Musiala who can provide spark on the bench, off the bench or, or starting. Um, they've got such firepower in defence with Jonathan Tarr and Antonio Rudiger lining up down back. I, I think the Germans will just stay solid and they'll use the crowd to wheel them to victory. I think in Germany, 
the Germans advance to the semi-finals. Portugal v Ukraine. I think Ukraine's fairy tale run is going to end here. I think the Portuguese are going to head to a semi-final against Germany. Match 47, Belgium v France. France are far too good, but I can't believe Belgium are in a quarterfinal. France into the semis. And England v Switzerland. God, imagine the Swiss upset them here. I think England, again, it'll be a lot like the Austria game. They've got a very kind draw, and they'll play some pretty dire football, but their quality is just far too good to deny. And I think they will head into a semi-final against France, which leaves my semis as Germany v Portugal and France v England. I think the I think the Portuguese win this. I think the Portuguese win this. Um, I really like Portugal going into this tournament. Um, I think, as I mentioned before, they are so strong in all areas of the pitch. They don't fully rely on Ronaldo like they have in previous years. Um, I really like their options up up top. Gonzalo Ramos had a breakthrough major tournament at the World Cup. I like Portugal. I think they head to the final. And then you've got France v England. Match 50, the second semi-final. Um, I don't see why France don't batter England here. Um, unless Southgate pulls a finger out and starts to play a more free-flowing, attacking style of football, gets the team right, I think France win and head to the final. Portugal v France in the final. And France hanging to this tournament are undoubtedly the best team in the world. Um, best international team in the world. Uh, Argentina have still done okay in their friendlies and other World Cup qualifiers post the World Cup in 2022. Um, and I think Copa America will be a big teller for where Argentina are at. But I think coming out of that World Cup final, France have definitely come off the better of the two, obviously without the World Cup trophy. But um, in terms of team, uh, I think France are far too strong. And I think they're by far the favourites to win this tournament. Um, France, England and Germany the three there this is an English website I'm using um, yeah I really like France and I think they win the Euros against Portugal in the final thank you all for watching let me know who you think is going to win the Euros down in the, in the description I'm really struggling to get words out today um, if you haven't already and you did enjoy the video please like and hit that subscribe button it would be greatly appreciated and I will see you all next time Saturday morning we'll be live for the opening game of the Euros Germany v Scotland. See you next time. Cheers.